It's a dance team founded about 30 years ago. They have custom handmade costumes, perform at events around the city. Oh, and every member of the team is over 65 years old. Briella Tomasetti introduces us to the KCS senior dance team, proving that like many things, dancing only gets better with age. Meet the dancing queens of Queens. I love it and dance, and especially they go to uh, volunteer dances. They make me more fun and more happy. And uh, I've been stuck here, and yeah, I enjoy it very much. The group, based out of the Korean Community Services of Metropolitan New York and Bayside, or KCS for short, isn't your typical dance team. All 15 women in the Korean dance troupe are over the age of 65, and they prove age is just a number. After I retired, I found a new friend. New, I found a new word. For example, uh, new people plus new dance. So I like to learn, friendly. I have a little volunteer. While the group's specialty is Korean dance, they perform everything from traditional to modern. 66-year-old Susie Kim's favorite number is the 1982 smash hit Gloria. It took the senior dancers about five months to perfect the routine. And if you haven't noticed, the costumes are just about as impressive as the dancing. That's because they're all handmade, each outfit fitting the character of every song. The senior dancers rehearse every Thursday and Friday from 1 to 3 p.m. and even perform at community events throughout the city. But dancing is just one of the many programs the KCS has to offer. I love to do another program too, but I do singing, the Korean singing, karaoke class, and I do line dance. And while the senior dance team is one of the main attractions here at the KCS, the nonprofit has an even bigger overarching goal, and that's opening doors for Asian Americans to integrate, thrive, and prosper in their communities. A lot of times what we have to fight from an advocacy perspective is the model minority myth. So a lot of folks think Asians all go to Harvard and they're all lawyers and doctors, but when you sort of look underneath the surface, you realize there's actually a lot of issues happening in our communities. Linda Lee, president and CEO of the KCS, says they also offer mental health services for problems that often go unaddressed. And this is exactly why we started, for example, our mental health clinic um, about four years ago. The KCS has a total of six locations, each one offering different wellness and social engagement activities for its members, like adult daycare, ESL courses, computer, calligraphy, and art classes, even a homebound Meals on Wheels program. It's like a family. It's like sister, you know. That's why I love it. At the very end of the day, the seniors say they're proud to be fulfilling a larger purpose in life and honoring their families. Sometimes we are under some TV or on Times, and they surprise and they uh, proud of Mama. So yeah, so um, I'm happy, or so my children happy. Reporting from Bayside, Queens, Briella Tomasetti, Fox 5 News.